Hello, I am Scott Sackett. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to like and subscribe. This book I have is a book called Ray's Anatomy. Ray is Ray Bustos. Ray Bustos um, is an anatomical uh, instructor, I guess would be the best way to call him, but he's an artist and uh, he does a lot of an anatomy lectures geared towards artists. I first discovered Ray Bustos from New Masters Academy. Um, if you're unfamiliar with New Masters Academy, New Masters Academy is an online school um, that I, I, I met the founder several years ago at a uh, figure drawing class in Dallas. He had flown in from California to, to, uh, to learn under an instructor down there that had a uh, school down there. And uh, he several years later, he started New Masters Academy, which is an online school that has some of the best art instruction teachers that you will find anywhere. Um, it's a subscription-based thing. It is, oh, I would say, depending on the deal you get, between four and six hundred dollars a year is a great school. I I highly recommend it if you have the money and the time. Uh, but you have to you have to use it. Um, but it's a good school. But anyway, out of that, I learned, I took a class under Ray Bustos. Ray Bustos had an anatomy class. This was two years ago, and he said, I'm coming out with an anatomy book. Well, his anatomy book was released uh, last week, and I bought a copy of it. It's put out by Design Studio Press. Design Studio Press. And uh, it is uh, about 200 pages, I think. Oh, yeah, 206 pages. That is Ray right there. Anyway, uh, first off, let me say, I've, I've had the book for a little bit, hadn't gone through it completely, but I've read most of it. Um, first off, I would say, this is not a book for beginners. If you don't have, if you have zero anatomy or figure drawing experience, this is not the best book for you. It's available in a hardcover and a softcover. The hardcover was $55, and I think the softcover is like 35 or 40, maybe 40. Uh, I want to get the hardcover because I enjoy Ray's, t Ray's teaching. Now, uh, okay, so the book, let me let me talk about why I don't recommend it for beginners. Because it doesn't have a lot of drawing information. It doesn't, it, 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 it has anatomy information. And that's not to say it's it's a strict uh, textbook or a strict, strictly a, a medical style book. It, it, there is drawing in it, obviously, but... It's not. It's not the best book for beginners. Uh, it's it's geared towards little more advanced uh, users, I would think. But if you're a beginner, you may learn something from it. So it would certainly be something you could add to. Uh, the first section talks about anatomy, and it goes through. And I'll talk about this real quick. I'll kind of flip through it so you can see it. There's a lot of text in here. That's the one thing. A lot of a lot of drawing books now don't have a lot of text. They have a lot of pictures and a lot of, of diagrams. But this has. A lot of medical information turns out bones it tells you uh, what these bones are it'll tell you what the Latin means on these bones there's a short part about tools of the trade in some or some drawing books you'll find that section padded out they'll give you page after page of, of drawing materials which I always think is is a way of padding out the uh, page count on the deal so okay so it, it's uh, and this is how his school was laid out it he, he'll so example for here, he talks about the skeleton. It starts off talking about the skeleton. Then it goes into, uh, and it has uh, examples of stuff and exercise. So then he goes into the foot and the leg. And this was exactly how his, his online thing was. And so it'll talk about it, and then it'll show you all the deals, and then it'll talk about them, uh, where the insertion points are, that sort of thing. And he tends to group them together, and he'll talk about that. And and he'll give you little hints along here. As you can see, there's a lot of text in here. Uh, so so if you're uh, just learning proportions, this might not be the best thing for you, but it does have a lot of information in here. Uh, so, uh, so it goes through, it shows you how to draw the leg and the foot. It comes along and it gives you a lot of drawing tips. It's, so when I say it's not drawing, I don't think this is geared towards beginners. Let me put it that way. So then he work. He kind of works his way at the body. So it goes to the, the. He did the the lower leg and the foot. Now he's doing the thigh and the buttocks. And so he always has these good uh, uh, color diagrams and and a lot of information about it. And he'll show the different things. And he'll he'll talk through that about the contours and stuff. 
and then it goes up to the torso. And so it goes through the entire body that way. Um, the, uh, I always measure an anatomy book by how they talk about the arms because the forearm is a very complicated part of the body and, and he breaks it down pretty good. And, and again, I haven't studied this in depth. Um, and you can tell that because I will take notes in my drawing books, uh, just because I, I buy them to use them. I don't buy them to keep them pristine. Um, you know, goes into the hands, head and neck, goes to the head. A lot of detail on the head, obviously. Um, facial expression. Uh, so it'll go through here. Then it, when it gets through the entire body, it'll, it'll it, again, it gives you diagrams, males, females, you know, different poses. So you can see the different body, the, the different, how the different muscles move. If you've ever looked at a, at a, uh, at a, I call it a standard uh, figure drawing book or standard artist anatomy book, they generally had show the person standing straight up and down. But then when you go to draw the figure in a pose, it's hard to know where the muscles go. So that's the first part. And that's probably a hundred pages of that. And then it, then it has the application of this and it, and it talks about it. There is some stuff about proportions. It has some good tips for, for kind of, uh, shortcuts and figuring some of that stuff out. Not really shortcuts, but just, just, uh, formulas. And then it talks about just different, uh, uh, different solutions for, for how you draw in the form and that sort of thing. Um, and again, so it has quite a bit of extra material, I would call it. Exercises, uh, ways to solve problems. Again, now that we're getting to a lot of examples. If you take his class, he does a lot of this. These are all drawings like he would do in class. Uh, so then it's got a lot of reference. It's got reference pictures in the back. And it's got a glossary. But anyway, that's, that is... Uh, Ray's Anatomy Figurative Art Lessons from the Classroom. Um, this is a really good book. I'm excited to get it. I, I ordered it uh, several weeks ago. I got it. I ordered it directly from Design Studio Press. I got it uh, earlier than they said it would be released. I think it's it's still pre-release, but I was very happy to get it. Um, I recommend it if you're if you are, uh, if you've gone through some of the standard anatomy books like the Bridgmans, um, maybe some Bern Hogarth, that sort of thing, this might this might help give you a little more detail on some on solving some anatomy problems. Uh, if you're interested in learning as much as you can about it, uh, Ray Bustos is a great uh, teacher, and I learned a lot going through his class, and I'm anticipating learning a lot from this book. And so I give it a recommendation if uh, if you think you fit into the, I don't think it's a beginner's book, maybe not an advanced, but certainly somebody intermediate or above, I think would learn from this. Um, it's well put together. I think I'll have it for quite a while. That's why I bought the hardcover. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Again, if you like this video, please uh, leave a review and uh, subscribe to my channel. I will review more books like this. I have a library full of books like this. I'm going to go through and start reviewing them. Anyway, thank you very much. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much. Good night.